I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. We often miss opportunity because it's stressed in overalls and looks like work. Five percent of the people think. Ten percent of the people think they think. And the other eighty-five percent would rather die than think. The three great essentials to achieve anything worthwhile are, first, hard work, second, stick to idiveness, third, common sense. Genius is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. If we all did the things we are really capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. When you have exhausted all possibilities, remember this, you haven't. Nonviolence leads to the highest ethics, which is the goal of all evolution. Until we stop harming all other living beings, we are still savages. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. To invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Negative results are just what I want. They're just as valuable to me as positive results. I can never find the thing that does the job best until I find the ones that don't. There are no rules here, we're trying to accomplish something. The doctor of the future will give no medication, but will interest his patients in the care of the human frame, diet and in the cause and prevention of disease. Just because something doesn't do what you planned it to do doesn't mean it's useless. The most necessary task of civilization is to teach people how to think. It should be the primary purpose of our public schools. The mind of a child is naturally active, it develops through exercise. Give a child plenty of exercise, for body and brain. The trouble with our way of educating is that it does not give elasticity to the mind. It casts the brain into a mold. It insists that the child must accept. It does not encourage original thought or reasoning, and it lays more stress on memory than observation. I have friends in overalls whose friendship I would not swap for the favor of the kings of the world. I never did a day's work in my life, it was all fun. Restlessness is discontent, and discontent is the first necessity of progress. Show me a thoroughly satisfied man, and I will show you a failure. We are like tenant farmers chopping down the fence around our house for fuel when we should be using nature's inexhaustible sources of energy sun, wind and tide. I'd put my money on the sun and solar energy. What a source of power. I hope we don't have to wait until oil and coal run out before we tackle that. To do much clear thinking a person must arrange for regular periods of solitude when they can concentrate and indulge the imagination without distraction. Unfortunately, there seems to be far more opportunity out there than ability. We should remember that good fortune often happens when opportunity meets with preparation. Nature is what we know. 
We do not know the gods of religions. And nature is not kind, or merciful, or loving. If God made me, the fable god of the three qualities of which I spoke. Mercy, kindness, love, he also made the fish I catch and eat. And where do his mercy, kindness, and love for that fish come in? No, nature made us, nature did it all, not the gods of the religions. Everything comes to him who hustles while he waits. I find out what the world needs. Then I go ahead and try to invent it.